You can afford to live anywhere in the world. Why did you choose Singapore? Uh, Singapore was a very easy choice. Um, when I came back to Singapore four or five years ago, it was a determined uh, move on my part. Um, I basically looked at well, the, the entire globe and, and, and try to figure out whether I want to be in America, in Europe, in Asia, and once I identified the continent, I want to be in which city. So, so Singapore came up uh, very fast and, and the choice was so simple for me to make. I grew up here, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm comfortable with the surrounding, I'm familiar with Singapore. Um, and what's not to like about Singapore, it's safe, it's clean, uh, you know, um, it has a very stable government, especially for this part of the world. And it's interesting that, that, that you ask me this because uh, I think the STB have just changed the whole uniquely Singapore tagline into your Singapore. You, you might have seen it on Orchard Road. Mm -hmm. um, that, that to me means you, you create a Singapore that is yours. You, you, you bespoke Singapore to you. Mm. Uh, it, it, it may, you can make it unique to yourself. Rather than Singapore so unique that you want to come to Singapore, you make it yours. So I think, I think that's a wonderful tagline and, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do to my Singapore. I know exactly what it is you do, um, the profession title anyway, but the complexities and the technicalities of what you do as an aesthetics doctor, I don't understand. So what is it that you really do? How would you define it? For me, is maintaining what somebody has. So I'm, I'm not a surgeon, so I don't really augment the facial shape very much because I believe everybody is uniquely beautiful in mm -hmm. his or her way. Mm -hmm. So what I aim to do is to preserve that beauty or to reverse a little bit of time or on the face and the body to hold on you know, um, to the face and the body where I find is the person is the most beautiful so more skin treatment, skin yeah. care, etc. To those that detract from you and, and say that this is not entirely crucial in, in, in terms of mm -hmm. um, medical practices what do you say to that? I, I will beg to differ because I know, although Maybe some people will think that uh, beauty is only uh, so, so being superficial and all, but I, I feel that it's important to a certain extent because you sometimes form your first opinion upon meeting. Mm -hmm. And if you can't tell a person who's uh, ridden you know, with all full of acne, you know, I, I, I consider it something that is necessary to treat. Mm -hmm. and it does make a difference to the person's life and I have many thank you notes mm -hmm. to attest for that. Which person has been the most influential in your life? Well, I've had many occasions where I've met different people at different stages in my life and who have been so instrumental in shaping the way I approach life and the way I, I, I treat it and the way I approach problems and situations. So I, I can't uh, attribute all of that to one single person. So I think I've been fortunate to meet them every so often in different stages of my life. Uh, when I was in school, when, when I came out of school and in my working career and they've been very pivotal in, in, in my development and I'm sure I've not finished the process. So mm -hmm. it's not one person, but it's one type of person that appeals to me. Uh, the qualities that, that, that I see in a particular person that I admire and, and, and want to possibly understand and, and, and emulate and, and learn from is, is where I get that, that inspiration from. So it's not, it's not one person for me. Mm. Yeah. A lot of things have been said, um, especially with, with, with us becoming Pali and friends and, and so on. You know, mm -hmm. we've, we've had a whole slew of various theories as to why Frank and George are hanging about and having dinners and attending things together. How do you approach that, that sort of an issue? How do you deal with that? Yeah. I have learned to trust my instinct. And interestingly, Frank, I didn't tell you this, okay? I asked the same question to one of my 16-year-old patients. Mm -hmm. I asked her, okay, I have something to ask you. I want it from a, a childlike kind of uh, opinion. If there's somebody uh, who is very special to you, okay, and you know there has been not shown nothing but kindness and generosity in terms of friendship to you, but the other hundreds of people tell you otherwise, what will you do? You know our answer was so, so pure and so straightforward. You see, it doesn't matter. What, is, what matters is how this person is to you personally. And that's, you say, that's it. And I was so humbled by her answer. Hmm? That, was, uh, that was last year, and I've never looked back. Cash. Absolutely cash. Cash. If anything else, there's no paper trail. <laughs> <laughs>
city or country? City for me. I hmm. can be comfortable in a country uh, for maybe two days at most. But I love the beat of a city. Definitely a city type person. Um, the country is nice to get away, but you know, uh, the solitude and quiet I think will drive me a little bit insane. Classical. Uh, I, I, it was a passion growing up, so you know, I, have, I have to carry it on. But having said that, I've, I've, I've come to appreciate pop music hugely, and I think um, yeah, there's a lot of merit in, in it. For me, I'm not musically inclined, you know, so um, sometimes easy. I like classical, but mostly pop. Mm -hmm. right. If it's about appreciating the two art forms, uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be singing, it'll be vocal. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I appreciate that more than, than, than watching people dance, I guess, so mm -hmm. singing for me. I heard you sing. It sounds good. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be a neither for me. You know, I'm too left feet, okay? And uh, I can't sing. My, my husband told me he'll pay me to stop if I... <laughs> pay me to stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice of Chris. Uh, <laughs> cash. Absolutely cash. Cash, yeah. Uh, if, if, if anything else, there's no paper trail. <laughs> <laughs> Rebel for me. A little bit of that. It's always hmm. in me. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I would like to think I'm rebellious, but I think I'm, I'm more of conformist at heart. Uh, mm -hmm. So, um, but I, I, try, I try to stretch the boundaries of, of how one should conform. conform. So I'll, I'll add a new precedent in that, that, that for, a formal structure of, of how you would conform. Former for me. I feel comfortable being former. I'd like to think I'm casual, but I don't know how to do casual well. <laughs> so I'll leave casual alone. Spontaneous, definitely. Yeah, I I like thinking out the box and uh, acting on the moment of uh, inspiration. A lot of things we do, as you know, is, is very spontaneous. But I need to plan that spontaneity. So once you get a <laughs> spontaneous burst of, 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 of inspiration, the planning comes into place, and, yes. and you have to put things into perspective and, and you know follow through the steps. But um, initiation of it, of it is spontaneous, mm. but planned. Hmm. Fiction. Why? Fiction, fiction? because. The outcome can be planned. I'll give a fact on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, only because there's so much fiction already flying around, so you know. <laughs> we'll, stick, we'll stick to the facts. Half full for me. I'm a half empty person. Mm. And, and uh, I, I like to approach things half empty because then, then you know, you make sure you don't uh, overestimate your position and, and don't leave too many things to chance. Mm. Um, and I know you, you, you're very optimistic and you're very, you know. Mm -hmm. You're very bright on life, and, and, and I think that's why it works. We ba balance out, yeah, yes. Yeah. The whole yin and yang thing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, this, I'm going to be greedy. I like both spicy and sour. Okay, in terms of food, uh, I guess I guess spicy. I, I don't do sour very well. Uh, in terms of emotions, uh, mm. neither. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's, a, that's a good thought.